Teflon. Well, I just got done fixing this lens. I mean, it was dirtier than a hooker's honey pot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't say that. Uh, um, it, it was dirty. Um, this is actually a D-series screw drive, but uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity after I got done fixing this. It's just three screws, by the way, these three uh, from the mounting plate. And underneath here, there's a tiny uh, gear that uh, interlaces uh, with the uh, autofocus um, for this lens, the entire uh, lens assembly. It's this little gear right here. Underneath this, of course, it looks like a flathead screwdriver slot. There is a set of teeth about a millimeter wide. The entire uh, unit is about, oh, about four millimeters long, and it sits vertically like that. And uh, your D3000 and 5000 series cameras uh, do not have uh, the uh, little uh, screwdriver, as I call it, the, uh, that uh, interlaces uh, with this lens. It looks exactly like this, and it sticks out. If you actually uh, have a camera like that and you put it on manual focus, it retracts it. And if you put it on uh, autofocus, it'll actually bring it forward and it interlaces with this little slot right here. And what happens is that the camera actually has a little motor behind here. I'm going to simulate what the camera does to the lens. It actually drives it like this, so it'll actually seek back and forth for autofocus, just like this. You can actually see the uh, rear element in the entire assembly. Oops. Could have done that more eloquently, huh? Just like that. So this is what D7000 series and above do. This isn't exactly the right little flathead. This one's too sharp. But anyway, it uh, meshes right back here. It was grinding pretty bad, but the problem was is now it is just smooth as silk. You know, the problem was is that someone didn't treat this lens very good, and it was uh, marked uh, for broke. And it's uh, seen more action than a $5 hooker on coupon day. <laughs> oh, whoops, excuse me again. Um, but I fixed it, and now you can hear ooh, smooth as silk. And uh, it's that little spot right there. So D3000 and 5000 series do, cannot drive uh, the D series so uh, autofocus lenses. You're going to have to manually focus them. So that little motor is what is keeping you from using an enormous amount of uh, very cheap lenses. This is a D-series. It's actually a pre-D, but uh, it's the exact same thing. Pre-D, D-series, um, 35 millimeter F2. But uh, anyway, I took a part and fixed it. Yeah, used a bunch of Q-tips and got all the gunk out of there. And uh, I added some miraculous uh, Teflon grease. This is actually high-end gun grease, but it's just as good for work on this lens. Tetra grease. Now I fixed it. It's just as smooth as a Swedish supermodel's waxed crotch. <laughs> oh, excuse me again. Anyway, <laughs> I thought I'd show that to you. That uh, See, now the lenses uh, after this, the ones that break... See, there's nothing inside this other than a set of gears. There is a little... Uh, microchip underneath these uh, CPU contacts that tells the camera what lens is sitting on it, but that's easily replaceable. You remove these three screws, lift it up, there's a little flexible circuit board that lies right around underneath here. It's very easy. A blind person could almost replace it. Um, but the lenses that came after these uh, have internal motors, and then later uh, silent wave motors, and of course later on more motors to uh, drive the uh, vibration reduction. But this doesn't have any motors in it at all. It's actually uh, driven by the camera vis-a-vis -a, -vis a little flathead uh, protrusion that sticks out and uh, drives this gear for autofocusing the lens. But, you know, anytime something's got a motor in it, then that's something else to break. And the more you complicate a lens, the more crap is in it. And the more crap is in it, the more crap there is to break. And then when it breaks, you go, crap! So, <laughs> simple lenses like this, even though uh, they're not as fast as auto fo at autofocusing as uh, many of the current models, they have a lot fewer parts in them. Simplicity is divinity. Less to break, less to worry about, less to go wrong. So, anyway, that's a little header on what's what. And now you've learned about uh, what I call... And some people call screw drive uh, autofocus lenses. Okay? Goes by various different names. I've always called them screw drive lenses, whatever the hell you want to call them. Right?
Got it. Whew, that only took me about 20 minutes to fix that. That's kind of a new record for fixing one, and it was really dirty inside. Someone's been treating it like a dirty girl. And uh, you should never treat your lenses like a dirty girl, because they don't like it. <laughs> Not unless you pay them more money. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Thanks for watching. Bye. I've had too much caffeine. I'm going to blame it on